bridge into the left hand and they start to climb now up a 160 mile an hour stretch and that's about the fastest part of this course it's a lot slower in terms of flat out speed at maximum than many of them but it's very demanding in the section that they're getting to now there's a left hander then there's an 80 mile an hour right hander they go through a chicane and then they start dropping. This is the chicane. There is Mansell leading Senna, followed by Schumacher, Berger, Brundle, Alboreto, well up, Thierry Bootsen, Alessi, his teammate Capelli, Eric Comas, Johnny Herbert. And so now they are on the stretch at about 140 miles an hour, dropping down. They're on the other side of the valley. And believe me, this is going to be a very hard afternoon's work for those drivers out there. It's extremely hot, and this is a very physical circuit, as you can see, with that uh, long shot we had just then. It's a very twisty track. There is no peace whatsoever. The shortest, uh, uh, the, the, the best rest they get is on the pit straight, and that's only four or five seconds. Uh, and apart from that, they're working that out the whole time. Overtaking is a problem. Concentration will be up and it's a nearly a two-hour race because it's a fairly slow average speed and patience will be the order of the day apart from the blind the uh, big race for the first corner because this race uh, last year was won and lost in the first four or five seconds from the start to the first corner remember Senna got in front and uh, fended off uh, the uh, tensions of the Williamses for the rest of the race and all other colours. Woodson, two or three years ago, was able to do the same thing, lapping much slower than his pursuers. And if you're saying what a ludicrous situation, that the race can be start, uh, decided in the first five or ten seconds, I certainly would not disagree with you. But that's the way it is. There is Patrese, there is Mansell, 77 laps. Eyes peel for that first corner as you look at Schumacher in third position on the grid to his right as you look at the picture was Ayrton Senna but now watch Patrese they've got traction control on the Williams and the McLaren cars which is going to help their getaway as usual the red light will come on then less than seven seconds after will come on the green and the Hungarian Grand Prix will be go and that's it good start by Mansell on the inside Patrese is going quicker but Senna is up into third position ahead of up into third position and he's passed one of the Williams I didn't see which it was it's Patrese leading it is Senna in second place so already the McLarens are ahead of the man who hopes to win the world championship here Nigel Mansell in fourth position tailed by Michael Schumacher so Patrese, Senna, Berger, Mansell, Schumacher Martin Brundle is in sixth position and they're streaking away up the hill now and that looks like Johnny Herbert to me. And what a disappointment. And Ligier behind. And I should think that was Comas because they were uh, in the vicinity of each other on the grid. And uh, a pity for the Englishman. But uh, so much depends on the first corner here. Now up in front, Patrese leading. Now Mansell, I think, has given us a clear statement of intent. Unless he's got a problem with the car right off the line because he took it very easily. He's dropping right back. Uh, one almost feels he's got a problem, but uh, either that or he's decided to take it conservatively. He's not going to try and win the World Championship today. He's going to pick up points. He's going to try and be sure. And I think that's no bad policy by Nigel Mansell, but he's fallen back a very long way on this first lap. Indeed he has, because Patrese, Senna, Berger go through together this long gap. Mansell followed by Schumacher, Ben Brundle, Michele Alboreto, that's the corner that was causing all the problems in practice. Two off there. And you can see how dangerous it is. The marshals are, have, have, have got to get those cars out of the way. If the race is stopped within two laps, it will be restarted. If it's stopped after two laps, it means the pace car will come out for the first time. But uh, now, up front, that is the situation. Patrese easing away. Senna second, chased by Gerhard Berger. Then, behind them, Nigel Mansell, a long gap. Now, there is, that's Johnny Herbert's car. Yes, it looks as if the master should be able to get these cars away. 
and should be able to get them under control. And that's the view from Senna's camera facing backwards. That's Berger behind, rather obscured by Senna's rear wing. But that's a, a new view we're getting for the first time this year. He's uh, trying to practice qualifying. But uh, there is Cardo Petrezzi, a 